Education Director at the Canton Museum of Art. Thank you for joining us for Project Bloom, which was inspired by the exhibit behind me in the garden of Nature's Beauty from CMA Collection. Join us as we create a garden-themed community art project that will grow throughout this month-long project. This video will be the first of six artist videos that will be coming to you today for our virtual family day. Each video features an amazing artist who has created their own project Blue flower and will take you step by step through the process of how they created it. We hope you get inspired and create your own flower showing us just how you bloom. Our artists have made their flowers out of a variety of art materials. However, you can make your flower out of any material you like. We have also made over a thousand free art kits available for pickup at the museum front desk. Kits will include an assortment of art materials and a companion packet filled with tutorials. Fun for any age level. When you pick up your kits, make sure to save some time to see the inspiring exhibit which started it all. Although seeing the exhibit is not required to participate, reserving your time ticket online is required to visit our galleries. You can also view the exhibit virtually under the From Home section of our website. So the idea for the project is really simple. We want to create a community art project that celebrates both our similarities and our differences. The idea is that throughout the month of February, the project will grow and become more beautiful with each individual unique flower that's added to the piece. You can do this in a lot of creative ways. So maybe use an interesting material or include drawings or writings. You can incorporate things that are personal to you, so things about your family or your culture, maybe your interests and hobbies, things that make you personally grow as a person. So this is the flower that I created for the project. What originally inspired me was the question, what makes you bloom? When I sat down and started thinking about this, many adjectives and words kept popping up in my head. And what I realized was I couldn't focus on just a couple things that have made me bloom or grow as a person, but there are tons of things that have made me grow over the years. So some of the things that I have on here are things like love or family, um, making mistakes or knowledge, uh, happiness, balance. Um, and all of these things have been either lessons I've learned or things that have helped me along the way or things that have happened to me that wouldn't make me who I am today without them. So the materials that you're going to need are probably things you already have around your house. Scissors, a three inch piece of cardboard, a pipe cleaner or wire, paper, I use car stock, but you can use whatever you like, a Sharpie or marker, a hot glue gun, a ruler and tape. So you'll start with a piece of paper and fold it in half. Then fold again on that same line and fold two more times for four total folds. Then you'll take a marker and go over those folds to score your paper. Then you'll take a ruler and measure out how long you want your petals. Since your flower should be no bigger than 10 inches, I did five inches, four inches, three inches, and one and a half inches. Then after that, take your scissors and cut a half circle along the edge for the edge of your petal. Then open it up and I like to clean up the edges. And then also I'll cut little lines in between about half an inch to an inch down so that the petals really separate when they curl. Then I'm gonna take a small petal section out of the flower and fold it over and on the back, add a piece of tape. And the reason you do this is to create a really nice three-dimensional shape. Then I'll take a Sharpie marker and I'll fold over the petal so that it'll start forming a round edge to my petals. Then you'll take a piece of cardboard and poke two holes towards the center. Then loop your pipe cleaner through the ends so that both ends are sticking out. This will let us twist tie your flower onto the mesh grid that will be in our museum lobby. Then take a liberal amount of hot glue and put in the center of your cardboard. Then place the base of the flower on top and hold until it's completely dry. Then you'll repeat the process each step for all four layers. And voila, we have our finished flower. Now you can add any text or embellishments or images that you like. I can't wait to see your finished pieces and how you bloom.